Hey everyone, Cobble Addict here, and I wanted to do a short update video on where I've been, what I've been up to, and what you can expect from me in the future. So, where I've been. Um, I have a little bit of a hectic life outside of game, you could say. Um, those of you that have seen my Twitter bio, which by the way is down in the description, it'll have a lot more channel updates and stuff like that in the future. Um, but if you read my Twitter bio, I'm a volunteer firefighter, a part-time EMT, a part-time college student, and a full-time paramedic student. So I have a lot of coursework and a lot of things to do that make it sometimes hard to record videos. So that's why this video is taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to to get updated. But, I can't help it a whole lot. Um, what I've been up to, I've been actually working on a couple other servers at the moment. Um, namely, I've been working on a couple of the Vintage Beef servers, which I play on quite a lot. And I've been helping out over there. Um, and what I've been doing, and what you can expect from me in the future, well, let's take a look. That was the first door I up they, or uploaded, sorry. And this is the second door that I uploaded, except with a notable amount of redstone missing from the top. That's because this door, I'm going to be making a little bit more survival friendly. And this door, I actually will be making a tutorial. Um, someone in my second video actually added a comment um, suggesting that I showed each one of the circuits separately so that everybody could see them a little bit better and do the tutorial that way. And that is definitely how I will be doing it. It will make it so much easier for me to do as well as so much easier for you guys to understand. So the idea behind this door is I want it to be survival friendly by not having everything on top so that you can easily hide it in a wall rather than this one or the original one over there that you pretty much had to have a lot of space above it to build. Um, I'm doing that with a triple piston extender in the wall instead of in the ceiling that removes the detectors. Um, I don't have it currently set up, the activation circuit, which is this piston and the observers on this triple piston extender. I don't have that in right now because I'm trying to figure out where to fit it. But, it will be in there soon, and I will be updating this video probably within the next two or three days if I get time. Um, and also, I wanted to challenge you guys. Um, down in the comments of this video, what I want is for people to suggest builds. And what I mean by that is, this build was suggested by Mumbo in one of his videos. And that's how I got this idea and that's where I built it from. However, I want you guys to do that now. So I want you guys to come up with something that is theoretically possible with the game mechanics we have. It doesn't have to be, you know, somebody's already done it. But I would love to see ideas that you know, you would like to see done, maybe something you want in a server or on one of your worlds, and I'll see if I can build it. And I think what I'll be doing in the future is, along with periodical redstone videos, I'll be asking for these type of challenges from you guys, and that will be where I get some of my content from, because I love a good challenge, and I hope you guys would like to see some of that content. Um, other than that, we will see this video in a few days. Um, this video is going up on October the 2nd, where I am at a little bit under 3,500 subscribers. Like, seriously guys, what? 3,500 subscribers. How? All I have to say is thank you guys, thank Mumbo, 
for you know sending all you guys over here it's an amazing amazing thing to have over 21,000 views between both of my first videos and over 3,400 subscribers within the first week of my channel going live. I could have never expected something like that. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the content that's coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.